Hi, it's Maria with The Bead Club. Um, I'm going to be using these fun ruler beads today to make a bracelet. Um, at The Bead Club, we have the rulers in six colors right now. We have a green luster light, this one right here. We have a turquoise green, blue luster, opaque violet, opaque gray white, and jet hematite and these are the colors that we carry in the ruler beads right now um, so the rulers are just kind of these barrel shaped two hole beads that give great texture and variety to your projects so you can give them a try we have them in store um, let's get these out of the way so I can show you what we'll be making today we're going to be making this bracelet right here this fun peyote stitch is very simple and it's very similar to my scallop super duo bracelet. Um, if you haven't watched that before, please go and watch it right now. It's a great bracelet project. Um, so you can mix this um, bracelet up and use different colors. You don't have to stick to the monochromatic color scheme that I have going on here. Um, right here I use the gray ruler beads and then these lovely silver lane charcoal size 11 beads um, that add a great softness to it and you know just liven up the bracelet a bit. Um, so let's get that out of the way and we're going to get our beads now and get started. Okay, I have my needle threaded, a size 10 beading needle threaded with a comfortable length of beading thread. I'm using Fireline. Feel free to use whatever beading thread you have available to you. Um, I have some size 11 purple iris Japanese seed beads and my opaque violet ruler beads. And as I said, we're going to be doing an um, or did I say, I, we're going to be doing a flat even count peyote stitch bracelet. So we need a stop bead as well, which I didn't get, so let me get that quickly. Okay, I've got my stop bead and it's a completely different color to the rest of my color palette. So I can easily identify it at the end. And what you do, if you don't know how to put a stop bead on, you slip it onto your needle Pull it all the way down your thread and for this bracelet you probably want to leave about maybe a good 10 inches for a tail um, so you can attach your clasp later and this is my tail right here on this end um, so coming from the tail end you just take your needle back through your stop bead and that creates a nice loop around your bead so when you pull it your bead is held in place it's not sliding anywhere it's not going anywhere so now to start your bracelet we're just going to pick up four of the ruler beads and we're going to let those slide all the way down your thread and you pick up one size 11 and one more ruler. And what we're going to do now is we're going to skip the last ruler bead on the end here. So you just push that out of the way. And we're going to go through, I don't seem to want to move now. We're going to go through the second hole of that very next ruler bead in length. So you can see that. And we pull our thread nice and tight through it. And that gets our bees nice and lined up into place. And you pull your thread tight. And that is kind of what you have so far. And then you pick up another ruler bead. And you skip that next ruler in, in the, the in line. And go through the second hole. Just need to flip mine over if I could. Go through the second hole of that very last ruler bead there on the very end 
next to your stop bead. And my thread is a little tangled. Right. So you just pull that nice and tight. And that's what you'll have so far. So you pick up, when now you're on, on an outside edge, you pick up 111.0 and another ruler. And you go through the second hole of that bead that's sticking out there by itself. Let's go through that second hole. And it will become very apparent very quickly where your beads need to go. This is a very simple project. And it's very it's great for beginners. So now you have a space in between your two high beads. The beads that are sticking out, kind of protruding, are your high beads. So you're going to fill that space with another ruler. So you just pick up another ruler and go through the second hole of that next high bead in line. And pull that thread nice and tight. And as you work, you just Position your beads the way you want them. You want to create high beads, the ones that are sticking out, and low beads, while those will kind of fall into place. Oops. Okay, so whenever you're on an outside edge, where you're either on this side or this other side, you want to pick up an 11 OC bead first. So you pick up the 11, then you pick up your ruler, and you reverse, your thread is going this direction, you want to be going the opposite direction now. So you go through that second hole there, the next bead in line, and you pull your thread nice and tight. One ruler bead now, and through the next ruler, and pull your thread nice and tight. Now you're on outside edge, you pick up 11 0 and a ruler, and you go through that next 11, sorry, ruler, through the second hole, and pull tight. One ruler through your second hole, the next bead in line, and you pull tight. And at this point, you just keep going just like that until you reach your desired length. So I'm just going to show you one more row. Yep, got my thread tangled. Caught, sorry, not tangled. <laughs> There you go. So now that I'm on an outside edge, I'd pick up an 11 first, and then a ruler, and then you fill this next gap with a ruler, and then you'd be on the outside edge again. So just keep going like that until you have the length of bracelet that you want, minus the length of your clasp, and I'll meet you back here and show you what to go, what to do next. Okay, I've gotten to the length that I want for my bracelet. Um, it just about touches when I put it on my wrist, around my wrist, wrist. There you go. Just about laps together, just like that. So that's the length that I want. And I'm just going to show you now where to go from here. So we're going to put our clasp on. Let me just get my clasp out. Okay, we're going to put our clasp on now. So what we want to do is we're not using the ruler beads anymore. And just to show you how many I actually have left, and not many at all, this is about how many I have left in this um, thing. This is about 15 or so gram tube and then just those two. So one tube will get you about a good seven and a half, maybe an eight inch bracelet out of there. So what you're gonna do now, you're gonna pick up two 
11 no seed beads and we're going to go through the second hole of that next ruler in line just like you were doing all along and then pick up two more and go through the very next ruler there and that, let's pull that nice and tight and then you're gonna pick up about maybe seven or eight of these 11 oz seed beads and let those slide all the way down your thread I'm gonna pick my clasp up You can put a jump ring on there if you like. I usually do, but I forgot to get them, so <laughs> I'm just gonna go straight. Then you go right back down your last seed bead that you put on there and pull your beads nice and tight. Now you're gonna string six seed beads. I used seven on this end, so I'm gonna put six on now. because they're gonna be sharing that middle seed bead, so you're gonna kinda of have seven on each side, essentially. Just double checking, I have six on there. And then you're gonna come from the other end of your bracelet all the way through that end roll there, and come out just through the ruler bead. And it's going to create this nice V shape here. And you want to reinforce this. So I'm gonna take my needle back through all of my beads here. And through the loop of my clasp. And back down that center bead. and down the six beads on the other side. And finally, we're gonna go through that last roll there again. And pull that nice and tight. And I'm going to leave my thread just hanging out there. And I'm actually going to get a new piece of thread. So I just took my needle off. I'm going to get a new piece of thread and show you how to do the embellishments along the edges here. All right, I have my needle threaded with my new piece of thread. And I purposely haven't, um, sorry, I'm just shifting my light around a bit. Let's see if that helps. I purposely haven't tied my um, tail off as yet because I don't want to create any knots in here. And that's just make a note to yourself. If you have to um, add more thread, do not tie any knots. What you want to do if you need to add more thread is just go back a few rows from wherever you've at, um, ended and just weave your thread all the way through the rows and come back out where you need to begin. And leave a nice long tail um, so that you can go back at the very end and tie that tail off. You don't want to tie any knots in this bracelet because it makes it so difficult to work with um, and you'll see why in a minute. So what we're going to do now, we're going to embellish the sides of our bracelet with our 11 seed beads. So if you look at your bracelet carefully, you can see that your seed beads along the edge are zigzagging along the edge of your bracelet. They're not lined up perfectly along the edges of your bracelet. So you want to find that one seed bead that is closest to the edge of your bracelet. So in my case, it would be this one right here. So I want my needle to be coming out next to this seed bead closest to the edge of my bracelet. So I'm going to flip my bracelet over 
I'm actually going to flip it around this way. This is just to make it a bit easier for me to work with, so I just flip it around. And I'm going to take my needle all the way through that very last um, hole on the side of my bracelet there, that very last ruler. And you may have to wiggle your um, needle a bit through the bracelet, but you should get through there really, really easily. So there you go. So I've gone through the second hole of this one, the first hole of that one, the second hole of the third one, and the first hole of the one on the very end. And now I'm coming out in the hole right next to my seed bead there, closest to the edge of my bracelet. And I want my needle on the side of that seed bead that's closer to the end of my bracelet here. I don't want it on this side of my bracelet because I'm going to be working in this direction. And this is my new piece of thread, so we're going to leave a nice long tail on the end, just long enough, maybe about six inches or so, or maybe not even that long, but just long enough so you can go back at the end and tie a knot um, with that tail. So I'm gonna pick up four 11-0 seed beads right now. I'm going to take my needle, move my thread out of the way. I'm going to take my needle right down the hole on the other side. So my thread is coming out this way. I'm going to go down through that hole right here. I'm hoping that you can see. Let me zoom in with a touch more. My tail is my thread is exiting this hole right here on this side, and I want to take my needle right down this hole on the other side. So now I'm going all the way back through my bracelet. Oops, I have all my threads kind of wrapped together. Okay, there you go. That's what you want right there. You want your needle on now on the side of that first seed bead. And this is my first seed bead right here. And you want to go all the way through those holes right across your bracelet. And your needle should be going in a straight line. My needle's a little bent. But <laughs> you want your beads to be going, sorry, your needle to be going straight across. And it's going to come out right next to, right next to that other seed bead on the side that's closest to the edge of your bracelet here. Okay? And this will get a lot more apparent as we go along. So let me try to keep it in frame. I just want to zoom in so you can really see what I'm doing here. And I'm gonna pick up four more seed beads. And now my thread is exiting this side of my this side of my seed bead, I want to go through the hole right next to it. And again, I'm gonna work all the way across until I come out right next to that other um, seed bead on the other side. So you're just creating this little curved seed bead detail around each of the seed beads that you have going down the sides of your bracelet here. So I'll show you again. Four seed beads. And your thread is gonna zigzag back and forth. So now I'm on this side of my bracelet. I want to go down that very next hole all the way through to the other side. So you can kind of see my thread is coming out of this hole right here and I'm in the hole on the opposite side, on the other side of my, that seed bead right there. And just pull it through. So you just keep doing this all the way down the sides of your bracelet. And when I'm done, I'm gonna come back and we're gonna add our clasp on the other half of our clasp on the other side of our bracelet and we're going to be done.
So we're almost there. I'll be back shortly. Alrighty, I've got my last four seed beads strung on here, ready to put on my very last embellishment. So just work your way through, all the way through those last four beads and you know, avoid your spot bead on the end. And I apologize for the bird in the background. I can't do anything about that. <laughs> he decided he wanted to be part of my video as well. All right, so we've got that there. And I'm just going to pull my stop bead off at this point. I'm going to add my clasp on this end in the same way that we did the other end. So I'm gonna pull my needle off my thread here that I was working with to add my embellishment. All right, I've got my needle on my thread here, my tail thread, I just pulled my stop bead off of. And oops, now we're going to add our seed beads the same way we added on the other side. So you take up two of your 11 O's and you stitch through the next ruler coming this way. And two more. And again, we go through that second hole, the next ruler there. And now we're gonna pick up um, seven to match what we did on the other side. Let's just see, six, seven. And let those slide all the way down. And you go through the loop of your clasp. Back down that very last seed bead that you strung on there. And just hold your clasp and pull your thread nice and tight. And now you pick up six more of your seed beads. And we're going to take our needle through the opposite side of our bracelet from this end here, all the way through. Just pick it up, it'll be so much easier. All the way through our beads, just like that. And we're just coming out of that last ruler there. And you pull our thread, and again, you get that nice V shape. And you take your needle back up through all of your seed beads on this one side, and it's gone through my clasp as well. Back down that very last seed bead there in the center. And down our six seed beads on the other side, just over here. And finally, we go through our last row of seed beads and rulers there on the edge of our bracelet. I just want to give it a nice tight pull and get our thread nice and taut in there. And that's what our bracelet would look like at this point. So we're pretty much all done. All we need to do now is just go back and tie off our threads with some half hitch knots. And you just can do that. You just sew back through. So my thread is exiting this hole right here. I just sewn back through the last, the first hole of that ruler. And then you want to get your needle under the thread bridge. I don't know if you can see, but there is a thread just in between there connecting these two beads together. So I want to get my needle up under that thread bridge. There you go. So that when you let go of your bracelet, you're holding your needle. The only thing that's holding up that um, bracelet right now is the thread bridge over the needle. So when you can do that, you know you've got your thread. And you go back through that little loop and pull it nice and tight. 
and you just make sure that your loop knots where you want it right in between those two beads there and now I'm gonna sew all the way through you always want to sew through a few beads after you've made a knot just to pull that knot into some neighboring beads make sure it doesn't slip out and I'm just gonna repeat that process and I'll show you one more time so you can see that thread bridge you've got right there and my needle is under it and something is setting all the dogs in my neighborhood off <laughs> so you pull that loop tight and again you sew through a few more beads and you just zigzag through the beads tying these knots the same way we did um, for the embellishment along the sides that just makes life so much easier and then you pull that through and then I'll just burn this thread off with my handy thread burner that I love oh so much nice and easy so we're going to go back and we're going to tie the knots with all the rest of these um, threads. I have about three tails here along the length of my bracelet. Two on this end and then the one I showed you on the other end. We're just going to go back and we're going to tie knots the same manner in, um, with all those threads and then our bracelet will be completed. So I'm just going to kind of fold it. Well, may help if I zoom out, wouldn't it? There you go. So this is what our bracelet looks like, our finished product minus the threads hanging off of it, which I will go back and burn and off in a second. So that's it. And you can feel free to change this up. You can make it wider as long as you start with an even number of beads. You can do six, eight, whatever width you want your bracelet to be when you're done. And you can use different colors, you can make this multicolored, you can probably get like a ton of ruler beads in different colors and just pick them up at random and that will look really cool as well. And you know, just change it up and make it you, make it yours. So I hope you've enjoyed this project. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.